A little bit rough, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How was the conditions out there? Uh, not too bad. I mean, uh, it's difficult, you know, with the rain and, and having the soft dirt and and uh, you know, it's kind of last minute thing because of the rain. So, uh, but it's good. I think we got the the point across, and and I think everybody's excited to uh, to be here. There was a lot said about Mark Barnett coming over from the states to go up these tracks. How key? How important really is that? That was a key thing. You know, people don't really realize, uh, you know, how much of a key. Uh, thing he is with this Supercross X, uh, he he just builds an amazing track. Uh, he's very very thoughtful. He's a past champion in the U.S. and uh, and one of the greats. So he just has a great mind and a great eye for for what creates great racing. And uh, he he builds my personal tracks along with uh, probably the good the, probably the good top ten guys in the U.S. currently racing uh, Supercross. So just uh, that insight alone is is priceless. So to have him coming out and and uh, playing a huge role is is definitely. Uh, Definitely a really neat thing for us to, to have him involved. The race formats, what did you think when you first heard? Uh, actually, today's the first time I heard of it. You know, I've been uh, pretty wrapped up in my own life and uh, my own racing career over in the U.S. It just got finished, and, uh, you know, it, it's we'll see where it goes. You know, I, I'm somebody that's been around the sport for a long time. I've uh, been racing professionally for the last 10 years, and uh, it, it's gonna, it'll have to wear on me for sure. You know, I think... Uh, you know, I think it'll be exciting, and uh, and I feel like it, they need to be flexible a little bit. I think that some of it will work, some of it may not, and uh, but it's you know it's our first year. It's, it's the perfect season to uh, to live and learn. Just on the stage, congratulations, mate! That, that uh, must be a great second time. It is. You know, that was my uh, second you know U.S. championship, my second world championship, and uh, you know here we are getting ready to uh, to take on this Australian uh, Super X. Uh, if I was able to to win that, it would be my third Australian championship, and uh, and then I would be suiting up to to go take on my third uh, American championship. So, you know, I think it's uh, you know all the clouds and, and the stars are all uh, aligned perfectly for me, and have a lot of a lot of changes uh, coming up for me in my in my my future, and uh, I'm excited to uh, to be in this position. Uh, you were probably most best known to most people. The uh in just general public, is suddenly you're reading the papers. This guy called Chad Reed, the third highest paid sports star in Australia. Um, how important is that? Now I know you're going to give me the standard answer here, but uh, I mean, is it is coming back to Australia? You know, um, 
as much about making your name for Chad Reed in Australia as it is in the States, because you're a big name in the States. I mean, it is. It's, uh, it, I shouldn't say it's, it's important to me to come back and make my, my name important. It, for me, if I need to use my name to, to help Super X and, and to help people you know, come and watch the event, then, then so be it. I'm okay with that. Um, that's that's my priority. Is I just want people to to love and experience the sport that has gave me so much. You know, without the sport, you know, the Chattery name or you know being thirded or whatever it is on the on the on the money list, it would never be possible. So uh, I'm just you know really fortunate to to be in a great position to be able to you know one have the skill to ride a motorcycle and and uh, and then just to be in a position to to have had some great opportunities in my life and you know those great opportunities led to to where I am today. And, and if I can create that for the younger kids here in Australia, then job, uh, job well done for me. It's a long way from Kerry to here. Do you ever pinch yourself? Um, yes and no, because I always feel like it's just what I was always going to do. You know, I felt like uh, it's always involved just going and riding the motorcycle and, and having fun. And, and, and on those days that I was having fun and, and enjoying it, I was winning races. Uh, you know, after I won the championship in 04, you know, I really felt like I, I dealt with life. You know, what, what, you know, what the pressure of the money, the pressure of uh, the expectations from sponsors and everything like that. And you know, those three years there that I really, really struggled. And uh, you know, those struggling years, I was able to still be second and third. You know, but but in my world, they were some of my worst years yet. And I just wasn't having fun racing. And um, I just felt like uh, last summer I had off. You know, the winner here in Australia, and, and uh, worked really hard on this. And you know, here we are. I'm motivated and uh, and excited to be racing again. Um, I've had a very, you know, very impressive season this year. I've learned a lot about racing and and what it takes to to put yourself in positions to, to win championships and and to have fun again. And that's that's what it's all about. It's just being out there and being that kid that that was you know three and a half years old, four years old, and and the kid that was 16 when he left uh, Australia to go and uh, you know take on the world. It's great way to finish. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Look forward to working with you, mate. Uh, it's been very, very difficult, I must say. Uh, terrible weather and bringing in thousands of tonnes of dirt into a place like this uh, was a recipe for an ecological disaster, to be honest. But we got away with it and the guys rode and it's a testimony to their, to their courage because it was pretty crazy out there. Chad Reed is, I wouldn't have done it without Chad Reed. Um, to, to make the quantum leaps that we have to with this sport in this country, we needed you know, a great champion and a great profile. And Chad Reed, a twice world champion, uh, luckily for us, he won again in the States uh, only, only a month ago, and he's the current world champion. So he comes back to Australia to compete in a full series as the world champion. And, and Chad is really going to give this sport the profile that it needs.